Hi, this is Jeanette from Happy Spots and Ink Spots. Today I'd like to show you a DT card I made for Stamp and Create. A lot of the supplies that I used on the card you can get at the store. The paper is basic grey wisteria and the button is basic grey as well. And the lace is this beautiful crochet lace that I've fallen in love with. The image is a stamp of e image by Penny Johnson. It's called Butterfly Bear. What I'd like to show you today is a couple of little techniques, little products that you can use once you've colored your image to give it a little extra something. I've used some shimmers on the butterfly. I don't know if you can see the shimmer on the camera. And also I used a colorless blender um, with a sponge dauber to uh, give the bear a little bit of texture. So I thought I'd show you how to do that. So I'm just going to get my image. Now I've already colored up my image just for time's sake. I'm going to zoom in a little bit better so you can see what I'm doing. So the bear I colored with um, E30, E31, E33, and the butterfly I colored with YR07, YR02, and YR00. Now I didn't color the little ears and the pads and the nose because that'll get all mucked up once I start using my colorless blender. So what you want to do is get one of these sponge daubers and you're just going to add a couple of drops of your colorless blender to it. Not too much because if you add too much it's going to take away too much of the color. So I'm just getting that set up. So just a couple of drops. Okay, you don't want it too wet. So then you're going to take it and you're going to really gently just dab like that. And what it does is the texture in the bottom of the sponge starts to give your bear a really fuzzy little look. It's really nice. Now you can also use um, an old piece of dish towel or an old piece of terry towel to do the same. And depending on the texture of what you use, it'll change up the texture you get on your bear. So, just keep daubing. Don't press down too long in one spot or you'll get a sort of ring. So there you go. So, once that's done, I can now go in and add a little bit of color to his paw to his nose, to his ear. So here I'm using R20 and then I'm going to go in with E30 and just blend it out a little bit. Okay. For the rest of my image I use some chalk. If you look on my card here, I use some chalk to put the blush and I use some white gel pen to make some highlights. Now, to use the shimmers, I'm going to be using Angel Wings shimmers. It's a little sort of pot like this. What you've got to do is you've got to really shake it hard because all the shiny stuff settles to the bottom. So once that's all mixed up, what I do is I just use whatever's in the lid. I take a little, a little brush and you're just going to get a little bit of the shimmers on your brush and then you just paint it on like this. Just make sure to coat the whole thing evenly because once it dries you'll you'll see little lines if you miss any spots. Okay. There we go. Sometimes what I do is I wait for it to dry and then I add a little bit more. So that was my Angel Wing Shimmers. I'm just going to rinse out my brush. There's a new product out by Shimmers. It's Shimmers Pearls. I just got it and this is more opaque so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pearl to shake it up 
And again, I just use whatever's in the cap. And I'm just going to add that to the little spots on the butterfly. Okay, so um, I hope these little tricks helped. And um, I hope to be making more video tutorials, so let me know what you thought of this one. Alright, thanks a lot. Bye.